Ah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be creating this Halloween smoky eye makeup look for you. I created a very dark, sultry eye makeup look with a very vibrant red lip. I am going to be ghost face for Halloween. So I wanted something very sultry, very nice, because most of the time, this little guy is probably going to be on the top of my head. So I wanted my makeup to really match my costume. So if you're excited to see how I created this look, then go ahead and keep watching. My eyebrows, we're not going to fucking talk about them. I did them off camera because I haven't done my eyebrows in like, like full eyebrows, right? I have not done in like six months to a year, like full blown eyebrows. So they're not even like cousins right now. Okay. They're like neighbors, maybe. They're not related in any way. So I did the brows and I set my eyes as well using the Makeup by Mario Master Eye Prep and Set in Medium. And as for my brow stuff, I will list it below for you so you know what it is that I use. For my eyes, I'm going in with the Tati Beauty Palette simply because I'm doing a Halloween look. It's going to be like a dark black smoky look and this palette is one of my favorite because it comes with so many like oh my god I put my nail in it. So many beautiful like fall Halloween-y dark sultry colors. You do have like this row of lighter two right here but really I mean they are pretty like this is when you think fall this is the palette and I absolutely adore these shades so I think I'm gonna do some kind of matte thing with like a shimmer on the lid I don't know yet I honestly don't even know but I am going as ghost face for Halloween and my mask is gonna basically be on my head for most of the time so I want to have makeup done so it's kind of like because mm, it's gonna be like a it's ghost face but it's like sexy ghost face it's not like regular ghost face okay so I think I'm gonna go in with this soothe color it's like a taupey brown just to kind of lay a little bit of color right here in my crease before I just toss on that black so it's not gonna be super heavy and I'm just with a light hand feathering it like that just to give me a nice blend because when you just do like straight black sometimes it can be hard to blend it out and if you're new here I always do my eyes first and then I do my base like my foundation and complexion because especially with me doing darker colors and doing black any fallout or anything like that I can just wipe off my face I'm gonna take this tapered brush it is tapered but it's not as fluffy if you see the difference in the one this is more of a light fluffy tapered brush fat for just like feathering some color on there this one is a little bit more dense and pointed so I can go ahead and target where I'm going to put that eyeshadow I'm gonna go in with memory in the matte black and this soothe is the one that I just used for that brown portion and I go in with very little black at a time and just build I will tell you that right now if you're working with black eyeshadow go from little and just build because once you put too much on you can't really go back but you can always add more if you need it so black is just one of those eyeshadows and colors that you just have to be mindful with how you're applying it so I just put just a little on that tip and then dab it in there I'm starting here I just want to get it in the crease I'm basically doing an outline of where I'm gonna put the black I don't like that okay trust the process it's like that so this is the Mac 239 s is a flat packing brush and I'm just gonna pack that same black matte on my lid remember a little bit at a time and I'm just gonna lightly pack it no blending packing that is going to give me the best dark color on the lid blending we can do up here when we want to make it a little bit more feather so now we look real crazy <laughs> but it's super super dark and then the next brush I'm going to be using is a MAC 221 it is a smaller tapered blending brush and it is a little it's between that real dense one and the lighter one but this is the one that I'm going to use to really blend it out I'm going to go in with very little very little very little okay and then just start to blend it up up and out I don't usually blend it in right here up because it'll almost close my eye I don't have very large eyes so I don't have a lot of like lid space 
so I will basically taper it to where it's like from here out this way and then once I do that I kind of stop there so I blend out much more here and then I kind of stop right here I'm so proud of myself because like I'm like really like like I'm really doing this and I haven't done makeup in like a year Oh, so if you're wondering what I'm watching and listening to, <laughs> Ball and Order SVU. I watch it every year. <laughs> and then I clean it and do it again. I don't add really very much more black. So now I'm going to lightly mix Soothe and Aura together because I need like that Toby Brown, but I don't want it to be too brown. So I'm going to mix them together to cool them down just a little bit. And literally I'm going to blend right on this line just to give it a little bit more of a soft look because what that does is basically it's going to soften it so I don't want to bring it up too high like that's not my goal here just see how much softer it is like you don't want it to be a harsh line now if that is your vibe do whatever you want but normally when you do a smoky look like this, you want it to be more soft up top. I'm gonna go in with this one sequin. It's matte, but it's like a shimmy matte. I'm gonna try it. If it's not what I need it to be, I'm gonna go with the glitter and hope to God that that works. I'm gonna go back in with that flat packing MAC brush. And this I'm just going to place on the lid directly. I am packing and I am not taking it to the crease. I don't want to smoke out the glitter. I want the glitter to stay on the lid only. I'm just afraid that the glitter is gonna be too glitter. What if I try to, I'm gonna try to wet another packing brush and then apply the sequins. It's a matte shadow so I'm kind of, weird about wetting that but I sprayed it's setting spray you can use any setting spray I'm just gonna dab into that sequin color and try to pack it see if that makes it a little brighter I don't know how it's coming off on camera but like in person it's lovely but like on camera uh, it's not as sparkly okay so I did do the glitter in memory and I like it a lot better. It's not sticking like it would if I had glitter glue, but it still gives me way more of a shine. And I'm kind of like swipe patting. It is getting to my crease a little, which I hate, but unfortunately I have hooded eyes, so I can't stop that. Once I open them, it goes right up to the top. I'm gonna put on my lashes now before I go to my face products. I, I'm going in with my mascara first. This is just L'Oreal Voluminous Original. I don't have very many mascaras right now that are good because they're all old that I haven't used in forever. So this is the safest bet. And I'm only gonna do the top lash. I will tell you guys, I am getting eyelash extensions on the 27th for the first time. I've never done them before and I'm kind of excited because I won't have to put lashes on every time I do my makeup, so <laughs> if you do lashes, then you understand that um, it's annoying. I'm moving to my face now. I'm starting with primer. This is the Ole Hendrickson Banana Brightening Primer. And I just have to be very careful because I've already blown. For foundation, I'm going in with my Lancome Ultra Wear in the shade 420 Bisque. In. I don't have my tray because in my video of where I was getting rid of my foundations, I'll put it here for you. I threw it away because it was disgusting. So I'm going to put it on my hand. I'm going to take my air pot out. I usually do my ears, but my hair is going to be covering my ears, so I don't really care. If I were like putting my hair up or it was straightened, I would definitely do my ears. So now I'm going to go into my concealer in light medium 29N and this is tart shape tape. And I'm just going to dab some right here and some here. I don't do too crazy with concealer anymore just because I don't know. I just don't really need I feel like that much concealer. I don't like like eh, I don't use a lot of I don't do a lot of full glam at all. So this is I don't know. This is going to be different. We're going to see unfortunately this beauty sponge um while I adore my daughter for getting it for me uh it was picking up the makeup so I will not be using those I'll probably wind up giving them to my younger daughters to play with when they're doing makeup so now I'm gonna set my under eye where's my setting powder here we are 
Dragon Beauty, and I'll be using both colors. Dragon Beauty Translucent Setting Powder, and I go in with both, a healthy mixture, and I just stab right where I put the concealer. Y'all know how to do it, and if you don't, I'm showing you. Now I'm going in with my bronzer. It is a Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade, this is their airbrush bronzer, shade three. It is one of my favorite bronzers. It's massive. I've had it for a very long time. I'm just gonna go in with a blending brush and put some color back into my skin. Ooh, it's so good. I'm gonna go in and kind of bronze up the side of my nose. Right, so the next step I'm doing is my blush. I'm using the Rouge Romance by Jaclyn Cosmetics and I think I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna keep it a little toned down because I am gonna be doing a red lip and I do have a very like sultry dark eye so I'm gonna go in with Tempting which is this more muted red. It's a very pigmented blush palette but I bring my blush all the way up here now. I'm going in with my favorite. This is the Greek Goddess palette by Lunar Beauty. I do not believe this is even available anymore and I'm so sorry to be using something that you guys cannot buy anymore, but it is literally like my favorite. I'm gonna go in with my old ABH highlighting brush. Do they even sell this anymore? If they do, I need it. I think I'm gonna use Medusa. Now I'm gonna go back into my eyeshadow and do my under eye. I'm actually just kidding. I'm gonna set my face real quick before I put it on. So I'm going to use the Morphe M431. I do prefer Morphe brushes over all of them. And I'm going back into that matte memory, the matte black. Very little here. When you do a smoky eye with black under eye, very little, okay? And you pack it, you don't rub it. I'm just very, I know it looks crazy, but just bear with me. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with that small packing brush and I'm gonna go into that Soothe and Aura color and blend it just a little so it doesn't look super sharp under my eye. Very blended, very blended. All right, so I'm gonna go into my highlighting palette and I'm gonna go into a Happy and I'm gonna put that on my inner corners just right in the center and then bring it up just a little. Okay, I love that. I'm gonna go in with a black liner to do my waterline so it doesn't look synchronized. And the pencil I'm using is black and it's from Pixie Beauty. Endless Silky Eye Pen, it's actually really nice. So the last step that I'm doing is my lips and I'm going with Jaclyn Cosmetics Lip Kit. I don't think it's called a lip kit, lip set in bow. So it's the matching liner and the matching lip. I just sharpen it. So I'm going in with the lip liner first. I was honestly gonna do black lipstick, but I feel like it would just be like a lot of black. So I wanted to do something a little bit not black. And that's it. Oh, my hair. I think I'm gonna like, I don't know, flip it like this because it is like super frizzy. I think it's because I just kind of let it sit and I didn't really do anything with it. So that is it for my Halloween makeup look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this look. It's very smoky, very sultry. It does not have to be a Halloween thing. This is just basically what I'm doing for my Halloween costume. I wanted to try it out while also filming a makeup video for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that I explained it well enough for you guys to be able to recreate this look on your own. Again, does not have to be for Halloween. This could be for any night out. Honestly, wear it wherever you want, but it's very full glam. So like wherever you're going, take some pictures, okay? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up for me. And if you're not already subscribe please make sure you subscribe before you leave and as always I'll see you on the next one bye